I've been using standalone window managers basically the entire time I've been on Linux. And pretty much all of them, pretty much everything after FVWM, all share a very simple feature. Per monitor, virtual workspaces or desktops, whichever term you want to use. What I mean by this for anyone who's a GNOME or KDE user is if I have multiple monitors and I'm using virtual workspaces, if I go to workspace 2 on monitor 1, only monitor 1 changes its workspace. Monitor 2, monitor 3, those are completely unaffected. Now I know some people like the workspaces to be shared. Those people are wrong. That was obviously a joke. If you have per monitor virtual workspaces, having them shared is something that can very easily be replicated. You just have it so every time you swap to a new workspace, instead of swapping on the one monitor, you swap on all of them. Having the ability to do per monitor virtual workspaces adds a lot more flexibility. However, it is not the way that GNOME works. They've had an open issue since 2018. Now there is a hack workaround for GNOME where you can make one of your monitors have a static workspace that never changes and then use your other monitors to all swap at the exact same time. It's not a perfect solution, but it does kind of sort of replicate a bit of the behavior. Now, if you're a Windows user, this feature is not going to be present. However, macOS users have been using per monitor virtual workspaces for a very long time. KDE also doesn't have the feature. They've had an open issue since 2005. This was reported back in the days of KDE 3. Back in the days when calling it KDE was the correct name for the desktop. So, in X in our armor mode, which I will explain in just a moment, it seems that you get one virtual desktop for one screen combination. So if you switch desktop, both screens switch. I now run without X in Arama mode, in which case I get two rather independent desktops. They have a kicker each and everything. I think the ideal is somewhere in the middle. Okay, so what is X in Arama mode? Nowadays, if you're an X11 user, and really for the past like two or three decades, you can take for granted the fact that you plug a monitor into your system, it is going to act as if X11 supports multiple monitors. It doesn't, it's a giant hack. So traditionally, prior to X and Arama, if you plugged a second monitor into your system, it's basically an entire second desktop. You couldn't just drag windows between those two desktops, they were completely independent. What Xenorama does, and you've probably noticed this if you've ever dug around things like capturing your entire X11 desktop. Xenorama is going to take your two monitors and glue them together into a big virtual workspace. So to Xorg, it looks like there is only one monitor connected to it. This is a big part of the reason why multi-monitor stuff is kind of hacky on X11 and doesn't exactly work in ways that you would expect when you're doing things that are different between the two monitors. And it would be really nice if there were a common set of virtual desktops with both screens, but you could choose quite easily which screen would display the windows of which virtual desktop. So it's sort of implying the idea of being able to shift your virtual desktops between your different monitors. I know that you can do this in some of the more configurable window managers like Awesome WM, for example, but generally it's not like a very user-facing feature. It's sort of something you have to like script in the background. And just as a reminder that this is from 2005, I'm fortunate enough to run two screens at 1280 by 1024, but it is quite clear that it will be a problem to just switch just like that for those who use different resolutions. The windows might need reorganizing, which I suppose can be tricky. Still, this is on top of my KDE wish list. And I'm sure back in 2005, they didn't think this would still be open 19 years later. Now, initially, this had absolutely no coverage for about the first six months. Then the duplicates started rolling in. 2006 February, 2006 February, 2006 April, 2006 April. This bug has been confirmed by popular vote. This is a thing that doesn't exist on the uh, Plasma issue tracker anymore, but back then you could vote on what you wanted to see implemented. It's just that none of the developers took the vote seriously. Now, I'm not 100% sure why it took six months for the duplicates to start rolling in. I do have a theory, though. So, there are distros like Kubuntu, Fedora KDE, and a bunch of others that follow the GNOME release cycle. 
and February, April, that sort of time, puts it in line with like the early release and testing of those distros. So it's likely that KDE added in this feature and then a bunch of people expected a lot more from it. And then when this time happened that a lot more users started to see it, then they just duplicated the issue. I've been thinking a bit more and have another use case. Say I have a laptop and when I get home, I connect another screen. While on the road, I would of course only use the laptop's own screen, but getting home, I then have two screens. With the session saved, the applications I run regularly would be up in their virtual desktops, but without this feature, only on that small laptop screen. If I'd like some of them to appear on my bigger home screen, I would have to move them, which amounts to closing and restarting the application. So what I think they mean is, if you have the application running on a virtual screen, you unplug the virtual screen, and then you plug it back in, the application is then going to automatically go back to your virtual screen. This can be done nowadays using things like window rules, but I don't know if window rules were even a thing in KDE at the time. I fully recognize that each developer best pursues his own interests, unless there is money involved. I wonder if KDE has set up some kind of bounty system. Say for example, I pledge 100 euros to whoever gets this feature into KDE and a few others do the same. Is that going to help? No developers replied, but more duplicates ended up being made. This person even knew this issue existed and made a duplicate anyway. We had this duplicate. We had someone saying, hey, is this the same as another bug? No. Hey, is this going to be implemented for KDE 4? <laughs> Oh, sweet summer child, you had no idea what KDE 4 was going to be. Now, the reason why people kept asking about this, obviously, it's a useful feature. But also, there were these things called window managers that exist outside of KDE that had the feature. As an Xmonad user, this is really a missing feature for me in KWIN. This was in 2008. Also, in case you're curious, this link actually still works, so uh, props to Xmonad for having consistent links after 15 years, I guess. At this point, it had been four years since the issue was made, with no developers even chiming in on the thread. So the OP suggested, I think this could make a good Google Summer of Code project, but implement it for KDE 4, of course, not KDE 3. It is reasonably complex, so it should make a good project. It is also wanted by many users, and personally, it is on the top of my wish list, and it doesn't seem to be implemented in many other widespread systems, so it seems to be a nice progression beyond the state of the art. And as long as you discount all of the window managers out there, yeah, in 2009, that was the case. I don't believe Windows even had virtual workspaces just full stop at this point. Now, one user tried to implement permonitor virtual desktops in their own project, and they found it to be kind of difficult, but then they realized it might not actually be as difficult as the first thought, but it would still require changing large sections of code throughout the entire KWIN codebase. The main difficulty would be working about net current desktop, which is an EWMH property that tells all applications what desktop is currently visible. This property can only be a single number, so some applications might break as they think they are visible, but they are not, or the other way around. So EWMH stands for Extended Window Manager Hints. Basically, it is an X11 standard for communicating window management properties between the app and the window manager. So there are things like the active window, the size of the desktop, the start of the viewport, things like that, and net current desktop, basically gives the index of the current desktop. Theoretically, this could cause issues if you had windows going across two different monitors that are on two different workspaces. As someone who has used a desktop that has had per monitor virtual workspaces the entire time I've been on Linux, modern applications do not have this problem. Maybe back at this point, there was an issue, but every toolkit out there is made to deal with this problem. Also, changes would need to be made to the switching animations, pages, desktop grid, and things like that, but all of that is kind of expected. Now, there was a very brief period where this could have been implemented. This link here is dead, but we do have an archive. This is a write-up by former Kwin maintainer Lubos Lunak. Desktop per screen, multiple monitor improvements. So he was actually working on some patches to get this done, and it did temporarily get upstreamed to OpenSUSE, 
but it never got properly developed, and I believe it eventually just got abandoned. With KD developer at the time, Martin Flozer saying, given that it has been implemented by the former Cave maintainer, and he is not yet supposed to merge it, I doubt it's in a usable state yet. But also adds this, it is not possible to implement this feature without violating the EWMH specification. It doesn't consider that there are more than one active virtual desktop at the same time. It might cause Windows to misbehave. Might is a stretch. Again, I have literally never seen a window misbehave because of this specific issue. Because of that, there is no chance that this can be implemented on the base of X11. This means this feature will not be available in the 4.x lifetime of Kwin. Maybe someone implements it once we are on Wayland. This was back in 2013. This led to a really dumb argument where a user was saying, oh, but all of these window managers do follow the specification, but no, they can't follow the specification if they don't do this, but they do follow the specification, but they don't follow the specification. We're going to move past that. And in 2014, much like with GNOME, we saw a hack workaround get made. I haven't tested by myself, but someone created a Kwin script which can be useful to you. Basically, it does the exact same thing that GNOME was doing, where it makes one of your monitors have a static workspace, and then all of your other monitors just switch each of the workspaces at the same time. Again, it kind of works around the issue, but it's not perfect. Then the issue went cold for a couple more years. Two years later, someone asked about that hack workaround script. Two more years later, there was someone talking about the slide animations. Then there was a duplicate issue. And then someone asks, do you think it's possible to implement this in terms of a Kwin add-on? No. And no matter where we go, no matter when in time we are, we can never escape him. Back in 2021, a comment from Neil Gomper. With Plasma Wayland, this seems like something that should be more doable now than it was in years gone by. On macOS, workspaces are assigned to displays, and each display has its own set of workspaces. When you plug in an external display, macOS dynamically creates a new workspace for it. You can then create more workspaces for that display. The current workspace on each display are stitched together when in multi-display extender mode, which allows applications to move across displays seamlessly. Basically the way it works on every window manager, just done in a more not tied to X11 way. From my attempts to port my workflow over from macOS to Plasma, these things are completely missing, which makes it frustrating for me when I do things like presentations and demos when giving talks. I often take advantage of these features to pre-prepare the second screen with everything I need to present and demo without showing the stuff on my main display or shuffling things around too much. My understanding is that a good chunk of this already exists in Enlightenment, but no other Linux desktop has it which is a shame. So I guess he wasn't aware of all the window managers that do it, or maybe he meant like desktop environment. Following this, in 2022, Neil commented again. For what it's worth, there's a proposed Wayland protocol that would make this work for Kwin to implement. That being, add ext workspace unstable. This protocol by itself is not making this possible. Prior to this protocol even being thought about, things like Sway did have per monitor virtual workspaces. What this would do is make it so you can communicate to the application which virtual workspace you're currently on, taking into account per monitor virtual workspaces, which was not being considered in the old X11 standard. Then comes 2023. With Plasma's recent tiling improvements, also known as breaking bismuth and having a native tiling solution, which is not at all tiling, I've seen many tiling window manager users give Plasma a try. This feature would make Plasma much more welcoming for tiling window manager users and would greatly improve usability on systems with multiple monitors. Then, as you would expect from what we've seen before, more users just say, hey, is this going to be implemented? Is this going to happen during Plasma 6? Or is it just even worth talking about this anymore? And we do have some little bit of hope. In November of 2023, there was a talk at Academy. And during this talk, he mentions that it is being considered and it is being maybe worked on and might happen during Plasma 6. Maybe. And I'm sure some of you are curious about what Cosmic is going to be doing. So I went and asked Jeremy Soller, 
And I got an answer. Yes, workspaces are per display. Thank you. Thank you for being a desktop environment that implements workspaces properly and not base them on an ancient X11 standard that never needed to be followed in the first place because the issues that developers thought could have happened were not real. Again, I don't want to take away shared virtual workspaces. If you like them, please keep using them. And if you have independent virtual workspaces, that behavior can be perfectly replicated. But for users like me that use per monitor individual workspaces, having that as an option is a fundamental feature. But what do you think? What is your preferred method? If you're a GNOME or KDE user, did you even realize that the idea of having independent virtual workspaces was a feature that people used? I would love to know. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon subscribers to Libera, uh, Libera Pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And I'm going to be using Cosmic in May. Maybe. Don't actually hold me to that.